Hey guys, just a quick video to show you how to clone your websites and then uh, transfer them to another hosting service. Um, I currently have GoDaddy Control Panel Hosting and GoDaddy just came out with cPanel Hosting. And of course all my websites are WordPress and as soon as I saw the brand new cPanel at GoDaddy I jumped at this opportunity to set up a new account and get all my websites transferred over to the cPanel. Uh, so I'm basically going to transfer my blog slash websites and their domains to a new server. Um, and I wanted to do this, you know, very quickly, not in a few hours, since I have so many. I wanted to be able to do this within seconds and take the entire blog or website with me. Um, and as you know, it's quite a task to do this. I found out I could clone my websites in under 30 seconds. And if you've tried to do this manually uh, with WordPress or any of those other plugins, uh, you found it almost impossible you know, to do it in a timely fashion and make sure it's very reliable before you delete those sites and transfer over. But now I can basically clone it and transfer them within a couple minutes. And when I say clone, I mean clone everything. I mean, you know, the plugins, the configurations, the comments, uh, pages, posts, and all the content within them, uh, tags, categories, permalink structures, privacy settings, all the themes, active and inactive ones, the links, you know, any kind of links, the footer, header, I mean, everything. So watch me go ahead and delete, you know, these sites. First I'll clone, then I'll delete, and then I will switch them over to my uh, brand new um, hosting account at GoDaddy, the cPanel. So first thing I'm going to do is bring up FileZilla. Let's go, these are all some of the sites actually here. You'll see all these files. Let me go and bring up this website. We'll use this one right now. And the first thing I do is just go over here, grab this, drop it into the main account. And as you can see, I don't just have WordPress files, but I also have videos and pictures, so quite a bunch of other files in here. And now that I've done that, now let's go to the website in question right here. As you can see, it even has a spokesperson on here. Undertaking building work or renovations can be so a big task. All of this will also be clogged, which is amazing. Even finding the right contractor so let's just can the volume down and basically what I've done now there is the back end of WordPress as you can see and what I want to do here is just go ahead and type in the destination where it needs to go so I can upload the brand new uh, or the file to create the new website and so let me get that in there dot hp enter and we're going to include the non-WordPress folders as I showed you real quick. I'm going to go ahead and click. Before I do that, whoops, let me bring up the timer. Let me just go ahead, bring up the timer real quick. Reset, start, here we go. Give it a few seconds and let's go ahead and hit clone. So we're giving it some time here to clone. It's doing its thing. Shouldn't take long at all few more seconds. Once again, downloading pages, tags, permalinks, themes. Oh, done already. Let's go ahead and save it. That looks fine. Desktop. And we want to make sure we delete this. And go ahead and delete it. That's it. So we cloned it. Let's bring up that stopwatch. Ba-boom. All right, less than 40 seconds, actually. All right, I said 30 seconds. In this case, it was less than 40 seconds. All right, um, so here we go. So now I cloned it. So now what I need to do is uh, take that clone and transfer it over to the new hosting account that I have over at GoDaddy. So I'm going to show you how to do that, too, and set up the account real quick and upload it and be up in business. Uh, first thing I'm going to go do is I have to actually delete delete that site over at GoDaddy so there it is right here I'm going to go to the hosted domains one of several and go ahead and delete it 
All right, so we have the deletion and process. Let's go back to, where was it? Let's grab that URL really quick. Copy so you can see it. Paste. So you see the URL is still up and running. The site is still up and running, so it's going to take GoDaddy longer to delete this site for me than it is for me to set up a new site. So now, hold on a second. Let's bring up the new hosting. Okay, so we just added the domain to the new cPanel. Just did add on domain. Now that it's added on, let's just bring up the stop clock really quick here. Stopwatch that is and start. There we go and scroll down. There's the new domain we just added and install. So now we're installing WordPress onto the new domain that we just transferred over. Let's scroll down. There it is. It's installing right now. Look how quick that installs. Phenomenal. Boom. Done. Installed already. So now if we go click on that website. There it is, okay? So now we have the brand new blog up, but as you can see, it's just a blank blog, so now we have to uh, bring up our clone. So let's just go to FileZilla. Now we are in the new cPanel, I mean the new FileZilla account for uh, the cPanel. Let's bring up that particular website, and let's refresh. There it is, there's all the files. Let's take the PHP, throw it in there, and now let's take the clone, throw it in that account. As you can see, it's downloading right here. Should take a few more seconds. Let's see, get that magic happening here. Once again, this becomes almost hacker proof because even if it was hacked, all you have to do now is just redeploy uh, your file, your clone, and you should be up and running. So, best of all, we can make this update from anywhere, you know, our iPhone, iPad, Android, smartphone, web browser, whatnot. Okay, looks like it's complete. Let's go back to the site. Let's refresh. Actually, before we refresh, there's one other stuff we have to do. We have to verify it, so we got to go to slash WordPress twin dot PHP. Let's bring it up. We have to validate it with our password. There we go. Update now. And we're going to delete the clone afterwards for security purposes and say deploy. Let's deploy this bad boy. Okay, it's doing its thing. Okay. It finished downloading, or in this case, uploading, so it says go ahead and click here. So let's click to view the site, and voila, there it is. Let's play the video, make sure it's all there. Undertaking building so work. There there As you can see, um, the software makes your blog screw up proof. So before you install a new theme on an existing blog or add a new plugin, try editing something, create a clone of it by just pushing one button and if you break something nothing's lost you just deploy the clone and all is right again how sweet is that and it's gotta be worth a lot at least for me it is you know being able to clone a new blog in seconds save hours from doing things the old manual way and uh, also gotta love the software it comes with the PDF, the videos, they do the walkthrough how to clone a blog and deploy it on a new domain as I just showed you um, takes about three minutes you know to do this whole thing and uh, as you can see proof is in the pudding so it makes it effortlessly easy to do uh, so you know what to do next if you have any question comments uh, by all means feel free to uh, contact me otherwise if you want more information just click on that link and it will take you directly to where you need to be to get all this great stuff alright take care